Ma'am? How? Are we there yet, Freddy? Almost. It sure is nice of your cousin Calico to teach us all about raising hogfish. She'll be glad for the help. It's hard to run a big ranch all by yourself. Will we get to wear 10-gallon hats? I think a five-gallon hat is more your size. Come on, let's go. I'm at least seven gallons, Freddy. Six and a half minimum. There's Cousin Calico's Ranch! We're gonna be ranchers soon! Let me ride with the tide, let me spend my days outside on wide open ways. Come with me and you'll see the unending harmony of wide open ways. We can make it happen with a single notion, we don't need a map or any sales promotion. We can Places where there's only oceans and wide open waves. Wide open waves. Hi, Cousin Calico. Oh, hello, Freddy. Howdy, Luther. We're ready to help out. Which way to the hogfish? Well, it seems we got a little problem there. See, my prize-winning hogfish herd has been rustled. Rustled? What does that mean? Somebody came and took them without asking. That's not right. No, it's not. And a hogfish requires proper care. I think they might be in real trouble. I just don't know what to do. Did you call the police? I think the sheriff's gone out of town. And I need to stay here at the ranch in case the hogfish get away and come home. Not to mention all the worrying I have to do. We'll help you, Cousin Calico. Luther and I will find the hogfish and catch those rustlers. Yeah! Thank you both. You'll be doing me a real good turn.
Here we are in Briny Gulch. This must be the town square. Let's go ask some of the people who live here if they know anything about those rustlers. Customers! <clears throat> Hello and welcome to Just Buckles. I'm Nelson Toso. How can I help you today? I'm Freddy, and this is Luther. And we're helping my cousin, Calico Catfish. Rustlers took all of her hogfish. <gasps> Rustlers? Well, I wouldn't know anything about that. It says, just buckles. Did you see this picture? It's my son, Half Nelson. He was real cute as a baby, don't you think? He has your forearms. What are these plans? No, oh, those are the blueprints for the custom belt buckles I make. They feature a stylish arching metal back with a personalized letter on the front. Any letter the customer wants. I'll bet they look nice. No, oh, they're very popular. What's that big thing? I thought you only made buckles. Hey. Oh, that, that's, um, it's a personal project. Nothing important. it is? It's ink. Oh! Hi, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best friend, Luther. I'm Perry. <gasps> er, uh, apricot. Some rustlers took my cousin's hogfish. Have you seen or heard anything suspicious? Rustlers! Well, I'll be stuffed in a jar full of dirt and swung round and round. Youngsters, I'm Saltwater Stella, owner and operator of the Soda Loon. What can I do for you? We uh, wanted to ask you if you've seen any rustlers around here lately. Rustlers? Well, there were a couple of suspicious characters in here yesterday. They might have been rustlers. They sat at that table right over there. Oh boy! Maybe they left a clue. Thank you. Maybe this is a clue. Meet at the Rusty Rustler at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. Seven, three, two. I'll bet the Rustlers left this. I wonder why they didn't eat the note like it says. It probably tastes like paper. We'll hang on to it. That combination must be important. What can I do for you kids? One prickly pear soda, please. Coming right up. Oops. Um, thanks anyway. Sorry about the mess. That's okay. Happens all the time. I should probably stop serving drinks that way. It's just too much fun. One 
pail of beet soda, please. You bet. some suspicious looking types in here yesterday. Did you see anything? We think they might have been rustlers. Rustlers? No, I wouldn't know a thing about that. I know the piano and it knows me, but that's about it. Sorry. I can't help you out. That's okay. Thanks anyway. It's me. Listen. I want to talk to you about that note. Road closed due to construction. Back shortly. Rusty Rustler they mentioned in the note? Hey, maybe it is. <laughs> Come on, let's check out that hatch. Okay. Ah. Locked. Wait a minute! Didn't I see a combination written somewhere? Hmm. This shouldn't be too hard. We just have to punch in the combination. Wood. 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 Two. Three. Meet at the Rusty Rustler at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. Seven, three, two. Maybe we can get it open now. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, three, two. I guess the lock was the only thing holding the door on. Tom Thornet, what's that racket? Someone's coming! Hurry! Aw, oh, fiddlesticks! The door came off again. 
Well, I guess I'll just have to sit here and stand guard. I wonder if they still called it standing guard if you're sitting down. That must be one of the rustlers. I hear the hogfish in there. Let's go, Luther. It's rustlers only in the hideout. Oops, I didn't think I was supposed to say it was a hideout. We might be rustlers. How do you know we're not rustlers? That's easy. You're not dressed like rustlers. If you were a rustler, you'd have a 10-gallon hat like mine. Hat? A belt buckle like mine. And a fashionable bow tie. All rustlers dress exactly alike? Yep, we all wear the latest rustler gear. You can see from this picture in Rustlemania magazine. Hmm, a blue 10-gallon hat, a big old belt buckle with an L on it, and a bow tie. Since you're not wearing these things, you must not be rustlers, so you can't come in. Because this hideout is for rustlers only. Okay, thank you. This is the rustler hideout, all right. I'm sure the hogfish are inside. What are we going to do? We've got to get some new clothes. Hey, Freddy, can we eat this note now like it says? Well, I guess we won't need the combination anymore. Well? I can see why the rustlers didn't eat it. It tasted like paper. All right, you hogfish. Quiet down or else. Or else I'm calling Mr. Big. <laughs> Did you hear something? It was probably just the current. I guess. I guess whoever was working here is done now. You two look like you've got trouble. <laughs> you could say that again. We made this floor for the big square dance tomorrow. Only we found out it has to be, well, square. And we are out of wood. We need some more to start over. A piece about seven feet by seven feet ought to do it. How big a piece of wood did they say they needed for this? Seven feet by seven feet. Oh, sure. I remember now. <sighs> That's a nice screwdriver you have there. Thanks. Do you think we could borrow it for a while? No, we might need it to work on this dance floor. Maybe later when it's finished. My name's Freddy Fish, and this is my best pal, Luther. Howdy, kids. Folks call me Sahara Slim. Professional traveling man and blues musician. Musician? Do you play an instrument? Harmonica. Where's your harmonica, Slim? We'd like to hear you play. Well, I got a little song about that. Listen here. Oh, I used to play harmonica all the live long day, but now I miss my monica, I traded it away, yes I traded my harmonica, the apple of my, I traded away my monica, for a ratty old bow tie. You traded your harmonica for a bow tie? Yeah, I wish I hadn't now.
Whatever you're cooking smells good. It's a Hair Slam special super stew. My own recipe. Oh, not quite ready. Oh boy! I see another purple sea urchin! Seven feet by seven feet. This should be useful. You should be careful you don't get splinters. It says free wood. That sail is keeping the water from coming down here. Gee, there's a porthole. Let's try to get over there. We can't get in there. The water level is too low. I think there's a handle missing from this crank. Them on ice until I get back. Stop. Sign it, you know who. And deliver it right away. It's urgent. Yes, sir. Oh. <clears throat> oh, hi, kids. Hello. I'm waiting for an important package. Oh no! It's missing a handle on the lid. That's why the lid won't shut. round and purple and pokey. Eek! Is it on me? No, silly. It's a purple sea urchin over there. Oh! I wasn't afraid. It's an old shoe. 
It's just a pile of junk. It's an anchor. It's an old tire. It's a bone. Fish, and this is my best buddy, Luther. Hello, I'm you. That's silly. You're not Freddy. No, you, like the letter U. Just you? Is it short for something? Yes, it's short for Uriah, Jedediah, Euripides, Algernon, Fortescue, Forsyth, and... Um, no, now what was the rest of it? Um, we'll just call you you. Most folks do. Looks like the wheel on this wagon has fallen off. Maybe we can fix it. <coughs> the wheel looks like it just needs a new nut to hold it onto the wagon. Say, that looks about right. Perfect. Thanks a lot. We owe you one. You're welcome. Here is done. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Coffee break? Exactly. Now that your floor is finished, do you think we could borrow your screwdriver for a while? Sure. In fact, you can keep it. Consider it payment for a job well done. Gee, thanks. Good evening, ma'am. Sir, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gil Barker, and I represent the Biloxi Premium Gum and Wheel Nut Company, third largest distributor of bubble gum and wheel nuts in the Upper Western Hemisphere. I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my pal Luther. My employers have authorized me to clear out my inventory to make room for next year's models. Everything must go! <laughs> Therefore I, Gil Barker, will be offering you prices so outrageously low that you'll have to bend over to see them. Great. Friendly reminder to Gil Barker. You owe Shady Shark 20 clamps. Pay up pronto. What's this? 
Oh, that's, uh, that's nothing. It's a poem I was writing. That's an awfully strange poem. We'd like to buy one of your wheel nuts, please. Certainly! Now, the nuts cost three purple sea urchins, so I'll start you on one of our nut layaway plans. And you can have your nut when you've paid me the other two purple sea urchins. And may I say that a fickle fit wheel nut is really an excellent investment. Yes! Here's another purple sea urchin towards our wheel nut. Very good. Let's see. That leaves only one more purple sea urchin before the fabulous Fickle Fit Wheel Nut is all yours. Here's the last purple sea urchin for our wheel nut. Can we have it now? Of course. You can select any shape you like. And if it doesn't work out for you, you can bring it back and exchange it for a different one. We here at Biloxi Premium Gum and Wheel Nut believe that customer service is our primary business. This one looks good. Thank you. No, thank you. Let's buy another Wheel Nut. I don't think we need one. Good evening, sir. May I interest you in... You got the 20 clams you owe me, Gil? Uh, not exactly. How much is not exactly? I've got a few purple sea urchins. You know, my dogfish needs an operation. Don't worry. I've got a really big deal uh, about to go down. Yeah? What is it? All I can say is, it's really big. I'll have your clams in a couple of days. Well, okay. Whatever you got going, I hope it's good. Oh, it is. It's real good. <gasps> oh, boy. A real ten-gallon hat. Sorry, I didn't know there was anyone under there. You could have knocked! On a hat? Excuse me, uh, Mr... Shrimp's the name. Used to be Sheriff Shrimp, but now I guess it's just plain shrimp. What happened to the sheriff part? They took my gold star. You can't be a sheriff without a gold star. Folks won't respect you. Maybe we could help you get your star back. Yeah! I'll tell you what, this county would owe you a great service if you did. Didn't we see something a while ago that needed a handle? What was it? 
I can't remember. Well, we'll take it with us. Let us buy. Sorry, can't. Why is that? I think I'm stuck. <coughs> Do you have to keep puffing up like that? Can't help it. Reflex. Reflex? Happens whenever anybody gets near me. Careful there. Don't ever mention G-L-U-E around old Elmer. Spoops him something awful. What's he got against glue? At last. Mr. Tippett, do you think we could have this old mailbox door now that you're not using it anymore? Sure. Take it and leave me to hermit in peace. Thank you. Another purple sea urchin! 
It's lemongrass. Is that anything like lemonade? It's a little more sour than lemonade is. Boy, you're not kidding. I kind of like it though. It's pepper. Really? Container. This could come in handy. <laughs> so this is what we need to look like wrestlers. Hmm. A blue ten gallon hat. A big old belt buckle with an L on it and a bow tie. We don't have any of those things. We'd better get cracking. Buy your pack of bubble gum, please. Excellent, excellent. Super rubber bubble is the most durable gum on the market. You won't be disappointed. Now, the gum is two purple sea urchins. So you can give me the second one right away. Or if you like, I can start a gum layaway plan for you. And I'll give you the gum when you pay me the balance. That's fair. Here's the other purple sea urchin for the pack of gum. Splendid, splendid. Here you go. It's my last pack. Maybe even the last pack in the entire hemisphere. 
You've made a wise purchase. Thank you. No refunds. like that since that kid got a worm doodle up his nose at school. That was you, Luther. Oh, yeah. I really only need one letter. Maybe you just need some lessons. Hmm, this is harder than it looks. Would you like this harmonica? What a... Oh, boy! Huh? Oh, this is great! Oh, here, have this lovely bow tie in exchange. With my compliments. Thanks. Thank you so much. Now, I can play the blues again. I've gone to a lot of trouble and expense to hire these sheep head to jump over this fence for you. So count them and go to sleep. Please. Please, just go to sleep, please! Maybe if we give him something to eat, we can swim past him while he's busy. Good idea! Boy, that was fast. I don't think that was enough time for us to swim past. No, I don't think so. Dad, 
that ought to keep that shark busy for a while. Yeah! Actually, he looks very happy. Old starfish, let's take it with us. It's just like the one the sheriff was talking about. I believe this is yours. My starfish! Yahoo! I can't thank you all enough. Anything you need, you just ask. How about that nifty 10-gallon hat? Sure! I won't be needing that old thing anymore. Now, if you'll excuse me, there are laws to be enforced. Rustlers to be found. Sheriff Shrimp is back in town. But we know where the rustlers are. You there! That's a loading zone! Looks like it's still up to us to catch those rustlers and rescue the hogfish. Let's ride! Yeah! Oh boy, a 10-gallon hat! This is great! How do I look? Like you need a smaller hat. Yeah, maybe you're right. Gobi, I'm at my wit's end. These hogfish are driving me crazy. They won't eat or sleep. And they're so noisy. Where'd they get the accordion? Uh, I don't know. Did you try telling them that story about your trip to Akron? That always puts me to sleep. Oh, thanks a lot. I'm going to have to call Mr. Big again. Ooh. Might be that the hogfish done up and rustled themselves, too. Can't ever tell with hogfish. Belt buckle out of this. <gasps> sure, just bring me a letter to put on it and I'll get to work. Here, this is for the belt buckle. <gasps> oh. 
Okay, stand back. My best work! All that's missing is a belt! Here you go! Thank you! Yeah, thanks, Mr. Torso! Please, call me Nelson! All I ever wanted was to be a hogfish rancher. I had no idea it would be so much work. Maybe there are some tricks to it that we don't know about. Yeah? Well, I'm going back in. Don't let any non-rustlers inside, okay? Radio! a little big for you. But do I look like a ruffler? Oh! Yes! Huh? Wow! That's kind of scary! I'd almost believe you were a rustler! Good! That's what we want! Great wrestler disguise, Freddy. Thanks, Luther. I hope it fooled the guard. Luther, you stay here while I try to get past the guard. Wait, I'm coming with you. Good thinking, Luther. Let's try to get past the guard. Hold it! This is a... Well, howdy, fellow wrestler. Ahem, howdy. I reckon Mr. Big must have sent you to help us out with the hogfish, right? Um... Poor Maury, he's having a terrible time with the hogfish. Well, go on in. He'll be glad to see you. Thank you. We did it! Shh! We did it! We're inside! Which way do you think the hogfish are? <laughs> Well, I think I hear squealing coming from... Ah! Hey! You two aren't rustlers! What are you doing here? Um, we were just leaving. You're not going anywhere! Mr. Big will know what to do with you! Nobody knows the trouble I've seen! What do we do now? It didn't even budge. Nope, this door is definitely locked. be a way out under all these cannonballs. Phew! These are heavy! There! That does it. Are the missing hogfish all right? <laughs> <laughs> 
We're not missing. We know just where we are. What's this? It looks like a telegram. Stop worrying. Stop. Keep them on ice until I get back. Stop. You know who. Hmm. Very interesting. get these bars out? I think it's worth a try. Maybe we can get the hogfish out through this hole. The hogfish won't fit through there, but it looks like you and I can. I guess we'll have to work out another way to get those hogfish out. They'll need a bigger opening. I wonder what this does. This is fun. I wonder if this will bring the anchor back up. I think I see something behind this thing. You're right. I can't see it very well. The rudder's in the way. I think we have to move this rudder if we're going to get that thing out of there. those hogfish. Luther, prepare to drop anchor. Ready, Freddy! Fire away! What? No! Come back! Please come back! We're going home. The food's terrible here. What do we do now, Maury? I think you should give yourselves up. 
You're under arrest in the name of the law. Law? What law? Yeah, I don't see any law. Then I suggest you turn around real slow like. It's Sheriff Shrimp. Yeah, and just about everybody in town, it looks like. Youngsters, that was mighty fine work apprehending these two. I'll be taking them off to jail now. You boys ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Hold on, Sheriff. There's one more person involved with the rustling. Yeah, that's right. They kept talking to somebody called Mr. Big. I never saw his face, but he was in charge. He planned the rustling and everything. Is that so? Well, what if it is? We'll never reveal the identity of Mr. Big. Yeah, you'll never catch him. Actually, I know who Mr. Big is. He's right here in the room. <laughs> when the rustlers caught Luther and me, they called Mr. Big to come and decide what to do with us. I suspect he was already here when you all arrived and just slipped in with the posse. Well, which one is it then? Luther and I happened to be passing by when we saw Sahara Slim sending a telegram. The telegram said, keep them on ice. And then when we got here, there were big blocks of ice in with the hogfish. Well, that could be a coincidence. Except we also found the telegram. Oh, it's true. It's my telegram. I'm Mr. Big. <laughs> I still don't understand why you wanted us to put ice in there. Well, I didn't mean that literally. It's just an expression. It means to keep them locked up. Now he tells us. Yeah. I'm sorry I meant no harm. I'm just so tired of traveling around all the time. And I thought maybe if I had some hogfish, I might be able to make a go of it as a rancher. Well, that's no excuse. You all ought to be ashamed. You just shouldn't take things that don't belong to you. It hurts other people, and it's just plain wrong. You're right. We're sorry. We didn't want to be rustlers. All we ever really wanted was to be hogfish ranchers, but we don't know how. Ranchers, you say? You know, I do still need some help out at my place. I'm glad this worked out so well for everyone. Freddy, Luther, I can't thank you enough for all you've done here. The hogfish are home safe. And the rustlers is brought to justice. Yeehaw! How's their immunity service working out? That's community service, son. Oh, yeah. How's that going? I think they're coming along quite well. It's hard work, but when I'm done with them, they'll be real hogfish ranchers. Can we learn to be hogfish ranchers, too? Of course. Here, I've got something for you. Ten-gallon hats! Yours is a five-gallon, so it'll fit just right. Oh, boy! Now, come on, you two. I'll show you how to tie a lasso. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam, where the deer and the antelope play.
pull, we all go down the crawdad hole, darling. Shake a pop pop, shake a pop pop pop. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam, where the deer and the antelope play.